I'm Anthony L. Elmore, President and Founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. We at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association teach the Buddhist teachings as taught by the 13th century Japanese Buddhist sage Nichiren Shonen. Nichiren Shonen taught that the highest teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni of India was that of the Lotus Sutra. Now how we teach the Buddhist teachings, we teach the Buddhist teachings based on the Gosho. The Gosho are letters that Nichiren Shonen wrote to his disciples to teach them Buddhism. And it was Shakyamuni, it was Nichiren Shonen who taught that the highest teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni was that of the Lotus Sutra and we are to only practice the Lotus Sutra. Now, my lecture today, it's called Batman versus Superman, a Black Buddhist lecture. Now, let me explain this to you. Batman versus Superman, a Black Buddhist lecture. You or we as black people must understand that Buddhism, just as Egyptian history and world history was hijacked by racist people, racist people hijacked Buddhism. In the world of Buddhism, the Japanese who taught us about Namu or Nam Yohorin Gekyo, they too hijacked Buddhism and integrated Japanese cultural imperialism or their racist idea into the Buddhist religion. And what the Japanese did was well, they took a bunch of black people, put them up as into the front, but yet these people are teaching racism and they are racist. Now, the reason that we use the topic Batman versus Superman is that we teach Buddhism in a way that's inclusive of our history, our culture, and our language. You have to understand that the way the Japanese, and I mean sets like Nichiren Shoshu, the SGI and Nichiren Shu, the way they teach Buddhism, they don't teach Buddhism but what they teach is Japanese cultural imperialism. They teach Buddhism in a way that make themselves great, that make their people great, and to extricate all black history, culture, and language from Buddhism. Now, we at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association teach Buddhism in a way that's inclusive of black history, culture, and language. Now, the reason that we use a topic like Batman versus Superman is that we introduce or we teach Buddhism in a way that goes beyond the limited and the myopic view of the way the Japanese teach Buddhism. Now, my lecture today again, Batman versus Superman. Now, this Buddhist lecture in common everyday language it is the Lotus Sutra that teaches us that Buddhism is our everyday lives. Now, in the Ghost Show, it's called the Gift of Rice. It reads, quote, The true path lies in the affairs of this world. The Golden Light Sutra states, quote, to have a profound knowledge of this world is itself Buddhism. The Nirvana Sutra states, quote, All non-Buddhist scriptures and writings in society are themselves Buddhist teachings and not non-Buddhist teachings. So, you see ladies and gentlemen, Buddhism is everyday life. Now, it goes on further in the Gold Show. It says, when the great teacher Malo compared these passages 
with the one from the sixth volume of the Loga Sutra that reads, quote, No worldly affairs of life are ever contrary to the true reality. He revealed their meaning and pointed out that although the first two sutras are profound, since their meaning is still shallow and fails to approach that of the Lotus Sutra, they relate secular matters in terms of Buddhism, whereas the Lotus Sutra explains that in the end, secular matters are the entirety of Buddhism. Unquote. See, please understand that our Japanese Buddhist teachers, meaning the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, Nichiren Shu, all teach Buddhism based on Japanese cultural imperialism, instead of teaching Buddhism based on the Lotus Sutra. See, the Lotus Sutra explains that secular matters are the entirety of Buddhism. Let me explain to you. If you are black and you are looking to learn Buddhism from the Japanese Nichiren sects, they will teach you a lot of culture and little Buddhism. You will find yourself learning Japanese culture instead of learning Buddhist teachings. See, let me cite the best example. The Lotus Sutra did not arrive into Japan until about 1400 years after the death of the Buddha. When the Japanese introduced the Lotus Sutra to America, they made the decision, or a Japanese racist decision, to teach the Lotus Sutra in the language of Japanese, which is called Shindoku. While English is the business language of the world, the Japanese use their language to promote their culture more than the propagation of Buddhism. Please understand that Nichiren Shonen teach that the Lotus Sutra is the most important and the highest of the Buddhist teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni. Now imagine that Buddhism's most highest teachings in regard to black people in America is in a language foreign to black people. What man calls himself an enlightened or awakened one with mandate that his teachings of the Lotus Sutra, his highest, his most important teachings are taught and recited in a language other than the language known by the people who recite the language. Nitron Shonen points out in the Gosho. Now this Gosho is called the Expedient Means in Lifespan Chapters. Nitron writes, quote, When we scrutinize the sutras and treaties with care, we find that there is a teaching about a precept known as following the customs of the region that corresponds to this. The meaning of this precept is that so long as no seriously offensive act is involved, then even if one were to depart to some slight degree from the teachings of Buddhism, it would be better to avoid going against the manners and customs of the country." Unquote. Now, imagine Japanese coming to America introducing the highest, the most profound, the most sacred teachings of the Buddha and they have us reciting the teachings of the Buddha in the language of Shindoku or Japanese. They would have you to believe that you're practicing Buddhism when in essence, when you do your gum, your prayers in the language of Shindoku or Javanese, you're not practicing Buddhism, but you are only practicing Japanese culture and that is Japanese cultural imperialism to have people sitting around here 
chanting the Lotus Sutra, and you do not know what the hell you are saying. This is ignorance. This is cultural imperialism. The Buddha taught the precept following the laws and customs of a region. The Japanese Buddhists teach or taught reciting the Lotus Sutra prayers in Japanese and Shindoku. The Japanese practice of Shindoku is for Japanese and not best for black people who seek to learn and practice the Lotus Sutra. Now, my topic today is Superman, Batman versus Superman, a black Buddhist lecture. See, we want you to get out of your mind the idea that a Japanese know everything about Buddhism or they are the masters of Buddhism. Understand that the Lotus Sutra did not get to Japan until 1400 years after the death of the Buddha. And what they're teaching you is not Buddhism, but they teach you Japanese cultural imperialism. Now, Superman is America's best known superhero. Now, a movie open worldwide called Batman vs. Superman. Batman is another great American hero. Now, this lecture is called Batman vs. Superman, a black Buddhist lecture, because we use everyday common and popular secular matters to explain Buddhism. See, Nietzsche explains that the great teacher Milo notes that other Buddhist teachers may be profound, but they fail to approach that of the Lotus Sutra. See, ladies and gentlemen, there are two distinct Buddhist practices. The practice of Buddhism and the practice of the Lotus Sutra. The Lotus Sutra explains the movie Batman vs. Superman. Now, the expedient means chapter of the Lotus Sutra reads, quote, Only Buddhas know the true entity of all phenomena. In a nutshell, the Lotus Sutra teaches us that all phenomena is governed by the law of cause and effect. Since all phenomena is cause and effect, all phenomena is Buddhism. However, not all Buddhism teach about cause and effect. The essence of the Buddhist teachings is the Lotus Sutra, and the essence of the Lotus Sutra is in the title, and the title of the Lotus Sutra is Myoho Renge Kyo. All or the essence of the everything of the Lotus Sutra is in the title. Now, in regards to the movie Batman vs. Superman, the movie is a Buddhist movie in that it deals with the phenomena of life, ethics, and religion. From the standpoint of life, this movie has affected my life just as much as any daily phenomena in life. The first thing I want to do, let me stop for a minute and show you a quick teaser or a commercial that they put out regarding the movie Batman vs. Superman. Let's watch a quick three minute teaser or commercial about the movie and we're going to come back and put a period on this lecture, Batman versus Superman, a black Buddhist lecture. Let's take a look at the clip from the movie. That's him right there. There he is. Get a shot. Who's that? You must be new. That is Bruce Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Clark Kent, Daily Planet. What's your position on the Bat Vigilante in Gotham? Sir, 
civil liberties are being trampled on in your city. People living in fear. He thinks he's above the law. The Daily Planet criticizing those who think they're above the law is a little hypocritical. What'd you say? Considering every time your hero saves a cat out of a tree, you read a puff piece editorial about an alien. You could burn the whole place down. Most of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. Maybe it's the Gotham City in me. We just have a bad history with freaks dressed like clowns. Boys! Mm. Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. Ah, I love it. I love bringing people together. How are we? Lex. Hi, hello. Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow, wow, that is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. You know the oldest lie in America, Senator? That power can be innocent. You're gonna go to war. That son of a bitch brought the war to us. You know you can't win this. It's suicide. The greatest gladiator match in the history of the world. Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham. You're psychotic. It's a three-syllable word for any thought too big for little minds. It's time you learn what it means to be a man. Stay down! If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. If man won't kill God, the devil will do it. What have you done? She with you. You've seen the clip from the movie. Now, in the case of movies, Hollywood practice racist cultural imperialism creating an image of white superiority. Now, Superman, Batman, and all the comic heroes in the world were white people. In the case of televisions, movies, books, and history, white people practice a cultural imperialism or white cultural domination. Now, you got to realize, ladies and gentlemen, that it was not until 1964 that Dr. Martin Luther King and others who fought for equality in America got the Civil Rights Act of 1964 passed. Up until then, we black people lived in a culture of racism or a culture of an America of apartheid where blacks and whites could not go to school, we could not go to the same places. We lived in a culture of white dominance. They did not put black people in movies, in a positive role, they had us look like buffoons, they had us look like we were ignorant or we would only be a slave, but there was no sense of equality. Now, black people fought, they protested, they marched. Now, in 1966, Marvel Comics introduced the first black hero called the Black Panther and he came into the Fantastic Four. Up until them, there were no black heroes. Even in 2016, when Beyonce at the Super Bowl, along with other blacks, showed the Black Panther, the white people got up in an uproar because white people or racist white people do not want to see black people in a positive light or in a light of equality or a light of being a hero because they have a Brahman practice that happened in India where racism started where they put black at the bottom and the white at the top. 
Now, it was 1966 that the black superhero comic appeared. The first black hero was the Black Panther. Please understand that the Black Panther emerged in 1966. Now, what is the reality Batman versus Superman? White people want to make money, and in Buddhism they talk about the ten worlds. And the ten worlds is hell, hunger, animality, anger, humanity, heaven, heaven, learning, self-realization, self-realization, bodhisattva, and Buddhahood. Now, black white folk want to make money. Now, white people cannot make money the same way they made money back into the 40s and the 50s and the 60s by educating all black culture and history. The bottom line is that black people have a total combined income of $1.1 trillion a year. And black people go to the movie 22% more than the general population. So a lot of the dollars that come into a movie, come into the movies, where the white folk can make money from the movies, they got to get black participation and black folk will come to these movies. And white people can no longer make a movie without the inclusion of black history, culture, and language. Without, otherwise, they're not going to get that black dollar. Now, let's go into the Buddhist teachings and explain it. The question I ask, would white people who made Batman versus Superman do a movie, would they do what the Japanese Buddhists do? And that is educate all black history, culture, and language. When you watch Batman vs. Superman, you will see that the director and the writer of the movie, Zack Snyder, went out of his way to make black people inclusive of Batman vs. Superman. See, whether it is the latest Star Wars movie, or the general market movie. Black people have $1.1 trillion spending power and they want that black dollar and they're not going to do in the movie what they did in the Academy Awards or what the Japanese do, exclude black people. You have to have a world of inclusion. That is what Buddhism is about now. The way the Japanese teach Buddhism, they teach Buddhism by excluding all black history culture, and language. Now, let me explain to you what happened to me after watching the movie Batman versus Superman. I left the movie I was very sad. I was hurt even though I practice Buddhism, even though I am a Buddhist teacher, even though I am a person who made a film, know everything about the film, know everything what goes on, know about the psychology, the anthropology, the archaeology, all the genetic science, and with all the knowledge that I knew. After leaving the Batman vs. Superman movie, I was sad. I was hurt. I was tore up inside because as that movie was going on and Superman died, it hurt me so bad because as a kid I grew up watching Superman. My son who was 17 years old who lives with his mother, he was going to the movie on, on Saturday and he said, Dad, I don't want you to tell me about the movie, but I want Batman to win because I'm a Batman fan. He said, Dad, who you want to win? I said, son, I grew up with Superman. I grew up with Batman, and they like members of my family. And I would never, ever pit one family member against another family member. That is the Buddha way. See, Buddhism is not the Buddha. When King Arjasutra or when the Buddha was about to die, they asked the Buddha. They said, what is your regret that you're dying? 
And the Buddha says, my greatest regret is King Ajahn And they said, I thought you was equal. I thought all the teachings of the Buddha was equal, and I thought you was equal. He says, if a parent has seven children and one is sick, then the Buddha, that parent or the parents are more concerned about the sick child. And King Ajahn was sick. He did all these things because he was sick. See, if we were to have a Superman, we have Superman go kill everybody. Superman would kill innocent people. See, Buddhism teaches you to have mercy and teach you to be loving and to teach you forgiveness. See, that is the Buddha way. Now, let's get back into our lecture. Now, the most important thing that you must understand about Buddhism is that you must see Buddhism outside of the realm of Asians or Japanese people. The Japanese sets teach Buddhism based on races or a myopic view that is always inclusive of Asian culture. Now, the Lotus Sutra has nothing to do with Asian cultural imperialism, but everything to do with the law of cause and effect, or the Lotus Sutra. We Buddhists chant, Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. It was Nichiren who writes in the Gosho, and I want you to understand this and listen very carefully. In the Gosho, called the Daimoku of the Lotus Sutra, Nichiren writes, quote, And though the dust come on Shakyamuni made his event expressly for the purpose of preaching the Lotus Sutra, he kept the name of the Sutra a secret and never referred to it for a period of 42 years. It was only when he reached the age of 72 that he first began to intone Myoho Renge Kyo, the Daimoku of the Lotus Sutra. However, the people of faraway countries such as China and Japan were unable to hear of it at that time. It was over a thousand years before China heard so much as the name of the sutra, and another 350 or more years before it was heard in Japan. Unquote. See, one thing that black people must understand is the fact that it was about 1400 years after the death of the Buddha that the Japanese even heard or chanted no holding gate code. The Japanese will have you believe that chanting is a Japanese thing. One has to study the ghost show in history that Yoho Renge Kyo came from the black Buddha in India whose name was Shakyamuni. Now let us relate to the Batman versus Superman. We are Nichiren Buddhists who chant the words. Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. Nichiren teaches us that, the, that Namu is an Indian word. And Myoho Renge Kyo was intoned by Shakyamuni. Shakyamuni had to be, it was an Indian. Now the word India means black. The old name from India was Eastern Ethiopia. When the Lotus Sutra was translated from the Indian language to Chinese, Myoho Renge Kyo remained the same. The reason that we give you this background is because it was Japanese who taught us about chanting Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. The Japanese would have you believe that chanting 
and Buddhism is originally a Japanese thing. Batman versus Superman is Yoho Renge Kyo, and it means now. First of all, let's go into it. The word "nam" or "namu" means to be awakened, or it means to be amazed. Now, let me explain the word "myo." Now, "myo" means incomprehensible, or it means correct. It also means to open the mind. Now, the mind or myo is in the realm of spiritual. The voice exists in the realm of physical. Now, the word myo means incomprehensible. Now, ho represents the 3,000 worlds in a momentary state of existence. The Lord of Sutra reads, quote, only Buddhas know the true entity of all phenomena. Now, what is the true aspect of all phenomena? The true aspect of all phenomena is the universal law of cause and effect. Listen very carefully. Myo means mind. Myo is the working of the mind. And ho means its manifestations. That the mind manifests the law or the mind manifests itself in the realm of 3,000 worlds in a momentary state of existence. Now, Superman is the result of myo, or it is the result of a mind. Superman, Batman, and the amazing Wonder Woman, who was a part of the movie, all of this is the mind and the manifestation of myo horinge kyo, or it's a manifestation of the law of cause and effect. So, when we look at the movie Superman or Batman versus Superman, what you have is no, or what is incomprehensible, or what you have is the mind. See, the director who created Superman, when Zack Snyder wrote the story of Superman, along with others, what you have is a group of people who understand the law of cause and effect. They understand Buddhism, or they understand how the universe works. See, Namu means to awaken. Myo means to open. Now, Myo also means the mind, and Ho means its manifestations. Ren means lotus flower, and Ge means its effects. And Kyo means to overcome delusion, or Kyo means all the teachings of the universe. Now, when it comes to the movie, Batman versus Superman and you tie into a black Buddhist lecture, what you have is an African American like myself who explains Buddhism outside the realm of an Asian model. You see, the way that Asians teach Buddhism, they teach Buddhism based upon an Asian perspective or based upon an Asian culture. See, they would have you to believe that Buddhism started in Asia, it ends in Asia, and everything about Buddhism is Asia, and they related to their culture. 
they relay one aspect of Buddhism, and that is on the focus of the mind or meditation. Meditation is only one aspect of Buddhism. See, it is the Buddha who teaches us in the Lotus Sutra to recite, to hear, to copy, and to teach the Lotus Sutra because the Lotus Sutra is the highest of the Buddha's teachings and the highest of the Buddha's teachings is understanding that every phenomena in the universe is a manifestation of the ultimate reality or the law of cause and effect phenomena. Now, in the case of Batman, Again, namu means to awaken. Namu means to be amazed. The word myo means the mind. Now, Superman came from the mind. Batman came from the mind. And the movie is its manifestations. Now, the Go Show, again, it reads, All phenomena manifest the ten aspects. Now, that is... The way that the movie Superman or Batman versus Superman come about, it came about and let's explain it from the standpoint of Nichiren's Buddhism. That is from the standpoint of Itzen and Sanzen or 3,000 worlds in a momentary state of existence. You see, the Gosho or the Lotus Sutra teaches us that there are 3,000 worlds in a momentary state of existence. Now, there are 10 aspects. Now, the 10 aspects is the movie. Batman versus Superman is an appearance. But the appearance and the nature and the entity created a power. The power created an influence. The influence came about because of an inherent cause. The reason that this movie came about is because the inherent cause, because Warner Brothers or Hollywood made a whole lot of money or they had the idea of making money. They created something out of the mind, which is Mio. Now, again, you have an appearance, a nature, and an entity which comes to power. The power leads to an influence, and influence comes about because of an inherent cause, and an inherent cause comes about because of a latent effect in a late a relationship. It comes about because of a relationship. The relationship comes about because of a latent effect. The latent effect comes about because of a manifest effect, and you got the consistency of the beginning to the end, so you got ten aspects. But what happens is the ten aspects also come about because there are ten worlds. Now, we all live in ten worlds and all phenomena in the universe manifest the ten worlds. That is, the lowest which is hell, the next is hunger, the next which is animality, the fourth is anger, the fifth is humanity or everyday life, and the sixth is rapture or heaven. Now, the seventh world is the world of learning. And the eighth world is the realm of self-realization. Now, the ninth world is the realm of Bodhisattva, which is a higher world when you look to do good. And then the tenth world is the world of Buddhahood. Now, you got ten worlds, and each world exists within the world, and each world, which is a hundred worlds, Time, the ten aspects, which is a hundred worlds, and the ten aspects is a thousand worlds, time, the three realms. Now, we have the, the three realms. The first of the three realms is the realm of the five components. Now, let's go back to the movie Superman versus Batman versus Superman. Now, the realm of the five components is appearance nature entity. See, you got appearance, then you got a perception, which is perception, then you got a conception, then you got a volition, and you got a consciousness. Well, 
the person who created the movie or wrote Superman, he brought it, he, it manifested out of his mind, which is called Mio. And the manifestation out of his mind manifested the five components. That is, an appearance, a preception, a conception, a volition, and a consciousness. That a consciousness manifested itself into the realm of living beings. And the realm of living beings, even though it was an idea, it manifested itself into the realm of the living beings, and the realm of the living beings manifested itself into an environment. So what you have, you have thousands of movie theaters where they took an idea, a manifestation of pictures and movies and sound, which are the manifestation or which is called Ho, or the realm of the law of cause and effect teachings. And so what you have is that you have all these different characters and you have all these different entities and all these different worlds working. Whereas you got a Superman who lives in the world of Bodhisattva, which is an idea of someone doing good. You got Batman who looks to do good. And then you got Lex Luthor who is in the world of self-realization or Nietzsche, you got people in animality, you got people in anger, you got all these ten, ten worlds, and you got all these different aspects, you got all these realms. You see, Superman manifests itself as a living entity that even though it came from the mind, but the mind manifested itself in a physical form, and the physical form is the realm of a movie. The movie begins to take on an appearance, a nature, an entity, a power, an influence. It comes about because of an inherent cause. The inherent cause in terms come about because of a relationship. The relationship comes about because of a latent effect, then it creates a manifest effect. And you got the consistency of the beginning to the end, which comes in to explain Buddhism. Now, this has nothing to do with an Asian, has nothing to do with the Japanese, but these are the teachings of the Buddha. And the teachings of the Buddha is a way of understanding the ultimate law of cause and effect teachings. It will take a whole hour's lecture just to explain the 10 aspects ten worlds, the other realms, and how all of this manifests itself, because like in the movie Superman, they integrated reality with fiction. For example, you had the black astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, who talks about Superman as being a living entity. You had CNN News and everybody talking about Superman. They had Superman to go to the court, and they had the different feelings anger, animality, you had all of these different aspects because what we had was namu myoho linge kyo. Like when I saw the movie, I felt sad because Superman is in the realm of spiritual, but the realm of spiritual manifests itself in the realm of physical and that movies and sounds and pictures affect us because they too are living entities. I think that I have said enough. At least you know that Buddhism is not about Asia, but Buddhism is about life in the universe and its manifestations. And Buddhism explains that life is a manifestation of the law of cause and effect or Namu it means to be awakened to the mystic or the correct or to be open to the physical manifestations of the universal law of the 3,000 worlds and it comes to Kyo or the teachings of the Buddha. At least this gives you some idea or better understanding about Buddhism, it is a start. We're outside the realm of Asians, but 
we are into the highest teachings of the Buddha, which teaches that cause and effect, or noho, which is a mystic law, or the universal teachings of cause and effect teachings of the Buddha. It is the Buddha who explains in the Lotus Sutra that he lived 1,000 billion trillion years and he comes into this world to teach us Buddhism through expedient means. That is, he teach us through via the capacity of our minds and the capacity of our thinking. You see, Batman versus Superman is the manifestation of the spirit because the spirit and the mind are one and whole is its manifestations. I think I've gotten into it. I think I've given you a different idea of Buddhism and we're going to get further. I hope that you get a chance to listen to some of my other lectures and also meet us online at the Proud Black Buddhist online uh, chat room and you can be able to talk to me, we can ask questions, we can get to know each other. We are people who believe in diversity and equality and we believe in the equality of all humanity. I am Anthony L. Elmore, President and Founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, bringing to you a Black Buddhist lecture, Batman versus Superman, a Black Buddhist lecture. Thank you very much. We're the Red Sonic. We are called the Proud Black Buddhists. We are going to put you guys on alert in the 15th chapter of the Sutra where the Buddhist Thomas are the earth. They are trying to us who try to attack us. We are the Black Buddhist Thomas. Dr. King never mentioned nothing man of God. The Black Buddhist Thomas is the one that was stubborn and come from India. His name was Zachary Hill and Mecca. The old name for India is the ETB to Maria. From the land of India called ETB to Maria, a great man called Chakamuni Buddha. His great teacher called the Lotha Sutra. The little city teachers just to treat him in equality. We teach the people how to be free. The teacher of the Sutra, we're the best to suit it. We call ourselves the proud. Black Buddhists, they're giant suckers, they're trying to knock us. We are the Black Buddhist Dollars. They're people in India, treating the worship like slaves. The people are called Dollars. Or called Intouchable, all ten dollars. It is the place where the world's racist culture, where black is at the bottom and they're slaying their brothers. We are black and proud, refuse to be at the bottom. We fight for justice, we are black Buddhist Dollars. We're the best to suit it. We call ourselves the Real Black Buddhists. The SGI, Ninja Show Shoe, Ninja Shoe, all the Japanese self support the Brahmin. They do not believe in equality among us. We black in America, let's know where we at. We were doing with our brothers in the Congo, Dollar.